So Future Motion released a new one wheel today. I'm taking a look at it. It's a new pint called the Pine S. I mean, I mean, as long as this new thing has better engagement than the old pints, I'm good. I'm good. So presumably that's the case here with the bigger foot pads. I haven't really gone through the site to take a look at it. We're going to do that together here. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the new Pint S. All right, so we have the site up. We're just gonna go through that, look at some of the marketing materials, see what options they offer with this thing, um, see what the power is like, see if the power is any different, because they didn't really talk about any specs. So, you know, maybe there aren't any specs to talk about. We're gonna find that out as well. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, so it says introducing the Pint S, and they don't really talk about any specs there other than uh, the bundle. So for the next 48 hours, you get uh, money off. If you're seeing this after, the tenth, then you know that time has passed you. <laughs> but uh, but let's see here what else we got. Um, hmm, Pint S, twenty miles per hour top speed, twelve to eighteen mile range. Okay, all right. So that that's like XR territory for range um, and speed. I think that's a mile per hour above what the um, XR does. So yeah, as long as they long as it's as stable right and with that tire i think that may be the case um they've come out with a, a treaded performance just for the pine s all right so there's no real marketing pretty much up on the site about it they, they have like two of the specs up and a spot for you to buy it so um before we go into the shopping experience of it and see what they're offering with it and see what you can get with it let's go ahead and take a look at the video real quick let's see if we can pull that up Oh, there we go. All right, so let's take a look at this video. Man, that ride was so good. It's just dialed every time. It just brings me right back to that first ride and that first feeling that I got. Every time I'm stepping on that board, I'm just, I'm kind of brought back to, to why I actually really enjoy this. It just reminds me of the flow I get from just going down to the street to grab the groceries to walking the dog. I, I mean, I even think tar Tara might like it better than I even like it. I just don't know how you could create something better. The Pine X has just encapsulated all of the boards in one. I mean, can we make it better? Yeah, we can do that. That was cool. That was cool that uh, the therapist couch he was sitting on is uh, the CEO for Future Motion. <laughs> Five years ago, we introduced the world to Pint, which is the smallest, most affordable, most approachable one wheel. A couple years later, we came out with Pint X, which doubled the range, added a little bit more top end speed. And for a lot of us, it's our favorite board. So yeah, for, for a lot of people, the Pint X replaced the XR, for sure. Super versatile, you can pick it up and take it with you. And it's got plenty of power and speed for everyday riding. We've also obviously been working on a lot of high-end products, the One Wheel GTS series, which pushes the limit of what's possible. Today, we're bringing a little bit of that DNA into a special edition of the Pine. I think you're really gonna like it. Let's see what it can do. I do like that they're featuring kids in this marketing. I really do like that. That's, that's, that's key right there. And, and for that size board, that's perfect. <laughs> and they found them a kid that, I can, that can actually ride. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Introducing the all-new Pint S. Pint S takes the Pint X platform and maximizes what it can do. Tyler and others have been bugging us forever about making the most badass Pint X we possibly can. Tuning it up in the firmware department with higher top speed, maximizing the power output, and improving the ride feel, but keeping it within the small form factor. And that's what we've been able to do with the Pint S. Our design inspiration is really like the souped up hatchback that's just stanced out and aggressive, but still small. I've always loved the Pint platform. 
Those look like new rails. Yeah, those those definitely look like new rails for that board. Because the challenge is how can you bake the core of the one wheel experience into this compact form factor? And so with Pine S, we've got the new performance treaded tire for Pine. We've developed the performance treaded tire line on the GT platform, the GTS series, and it's been getting rave reviews. And so now we've been able to shrink that down to the Pine platform, and it is a game changer. You get grip, you get durability, uh, you get a flexible sidewall, you get great cornering, but you also get passive stability, which really allows for the first time Pint to be what you want off-road. Yeah, the Pint is truly a unique experience on trails because it's just like small and super nimble. Um, yeah, it's it, it's definitely super fun. I would I would occasionally rip my pint, just a regular pint, on some trails, um, just for that different feel and that different experience. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely feeling that. Tire is my favorite thing about it, honestly. Like, uh, it's probably my favorite performance treaded variation. Of all. Yeah, it just handles like really well, and I'm riding at like 15 psi which sounds high, but it's smaller volume tire. And uh, yeah, it's point and shoot, honestly. I'm definitely feeling the new rails for the pint. Absolutely. I, I, I've never really liked the new rails for the, for the GT. Um, I just, I always thought they were just super thick and it just made it a different look. Um, but I do like that look on the Pine X. Pine S includes from the factory the Pine flared foot pads front and rear. These give you a larger foot surface and more tip and tail kick, which really keeps you locked in when you're riding, particularly in off-road scenarios. You also get 15% more sensor area on the front foot pad. Yeah, so there we go. That's gonna be super clutch. Which really makes a difference. That right there is um, the biggest thing, like I said, for me with the pint, is that engagement problem. <laughs> it's so bad, but um, man, this looks like that, that might fix that issue. Um, all together for people with um, that aren't kids. <laughs> Difference in terms of staying engaged with the board and making. And he even mentions it there, so yeah. Easy to just get on and go. Pine S also features the Mag Handle Pro that just makes it more comfortable to carry. That's been available as an upgrade for a while, but now it's available stock on the Pine S. So we've got the new tire, we've got the flared foot pads, but what about the firmware? Obviously the firmware is really what dictates how a board rides. And with Pint S, we squeezed every bit of power and capability out of the Pint X platform. It has two mile an hour top speed increase over Pint X. Now that may not sound like a huge jump, but it's the same jump as between Pint and Pint X. And now we have 20 mile per hour top speed. That's actually the same as we used to have on our XR boards. So people that are familiar with that know that at 20 miles per hour, you are really unlocking the optimal cruising speed for a one wheel. We've also brought some of the rideability improvements from the GT and GTS platform, such as improved. Man, that looks, it just, that pint just looks super fun to ride. I can't, I can't deny it. Um, yeah, from a funability, <laughs> if that's a word, uh, standpoint, yeah, it's, yeah, it's got that. Landing and improved behavior over chatter to the Pint platform for the first time. And you get to benefit from all these improvements in the new Pine S. Some other big news in the firmware department. And Tyler just makes looking, he just makes riding anyone will look cool. So, I mean, that's, that's another thing. <laughs> you gotta take that in consideration as well. Is that we're bringing some of custom shaping to the Pint platform for the first time. This is awesome if you're riding off road and also if you're riding tricks and you can benefit from it just riding around as well. If you're a Pint X rider, I can understand it. And I never liked the Pint bumpers. And it looks like they've got different bumpers that cover the whole battery, like how they do on the GT. Um, I, I've never liked the pint bumper situation, so hopefully they fix that with this. You're a little bit bummed out that now we're coming out with something better. Well, I have good news for you. All of these firmware improvements are gonna be available via an over-the-air update for Pint X. So that means your Pint X just got a lot better. Are you feeling the power difference? Yeah, I am feeling the power difference. 
Never been like super comfortable getting. Neil, but, 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 but. <laughs> Pints airborne. And I can say that I'm getting really comfortable with it now. So that's exciting. And going through chatters, feeling really good. So similar to the GT update, I would say, that stuff's kind of trickling down. Uh, it's applying to this board really well. Uh, to me, it feels somewhere between XR and GT, power-wise. Um, the platform of it feels more like an XR because it's like lighter, a little more nimble. Mm. I'm hitting like multiple. I like that. I like that. Roots in a row, and it's not like dancing around under my feet. I can just hold my line, so that's very important. And it makes it feel less like a toy and more like a, you know, you steer it like a mountain bike or something, you know. If you're a pure play on trail shredding, you might love our GT, our GTS series products. Those people probably already know who they are. But if you're getting into one wheel for the first time, you wanna check this thing out, Pint S is an amazing starting point. We're happy to announce that Pint S is gonna be available for just $1,400. That is the pinnacle of the Pint line, but there's a lot of other good options too. You've got the Pint X at $1,100, which includes these new firmware updates that we are announcing today. And you've got the Pint. And just so $1,400. Um, what was the XR? $1,800? I think it was $1,799. Um, so all the performance of the XR for a few hundred bucks cheaper. Uh, I mean, actually, it looks to be more powerful than the XR was. Um, but as far as the range goes um, and the platform stability, I think that's, um, yeah. Okay, I can dig it. 750. So pick how much pint you want. You're not going to regret it. With the performance shredded tire and the all black colorway, I'm super stoked with how this thing turned out. I think it's definitely the most badass pint we've ever created. And um, yeah, Tyler, here you go. No way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's the video. So, I mean, there was a few takeaways from that, but let's go back to the actual site here. All right, so um, 1,400, uh, 12 to 18 mile range and top speed of 20, we knew that. I hope the shaping is good straight from the factory. Uh, the little This little rocket is ready to rip town or trail. Okay, I, I dig that, I dig that wholeheartedly. And to me, that's not a bad price. I'm not going in front. That's like legitly not a bad price for what you're getting there, considering what um, people were paying for that kind of power range, um, you know, not too long ago. So, yeah, I, that's not a bad price. I can't argue with that at all. Flared foot pads, um, performance tread, treaded tire, and with that performance treaded tire, yeah, definitely, man. Okay, so two, two more mile per hour top speed. Um, do they talk about the power train at all? No, they don't really mention that. Anyone has written the flared foot, foot pads on Pint can tell you the 15% larger footprint of the flared foot pads help make the most of Pint. I'd, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> you definitely need that extra area. Compatible with all Pint accessories. So maybe the rails aren't different. Maybe those are the same rails if they're compatible with all the accessories. So I, I could be wrong on that. Um, in stock and ready to ship so available right now that's awesome all right so um what do i think here uh i think it looks awesome <laughs> the colorway insane um if it has um the performance of the pint x with the extra range now i'm not sure like i said i didn't see anything here that says it was more powerful at all so we don't know what kind of power it's bringing to the game but at the same time, um, it has that extra range um, and that performance traded tire. Um, I'm just assuming it has more power, but they didn't, they didn't mention it. And the new um, 
the new shaping settings. I think some of those are going to be brought to this as well. Um, maybe shapings they didn't have with the Pint X uh, era. The biggest thing for me is the foot pads. <laughs> Uh, everything else I can take it or leave it, but in, unless there's more power involved, the biggest thing to me is the foot pads um, that they come with stock. More area, the disc or the um, engagement issues won't be as much of an issue, if at all. But yeah, that's the first look from me for the Pint S one wheel, and um, I think it looks like an amazing board. It looks super fun. Um, it looks like they may have solved the engagement issues. The treaded tire won't, will never hurt. I've always liked riding the pint on trails. There's just, the power just was never there and the speed and the longevity was never there or the, you know, as far as the battery is concerned. Um, so you couldn't ride very long, but it was a super fun experience. I just didn't do it a lot because of those limitations. But the times that I did like decide to like overlook those limitations um, and just do it anyway, despite the hassle, it was a super fun time. So um, I would love to get back to some stuff like that. And it's, and it's good that they've like kind of made this board ready for those kind of things, uh, for that kind of fun to be had. So yeah, um, I think it's a good, a good addition to the one wheel lineup. I think that's a reasonable price. Um, and yeah, it looks super fun. So that's going to be it for me. Go ahead and like the video if you like, subscribe if you want to see more. And um, until next time, take care.